a KQED television production. And everybody say, Oppa! Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna. Great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers available at walmartlabs.com. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has over 250 types of natural stone choices in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, teacher Mary Gao spends her days corralling kindergarten kids in their crayons. So when it's time to soothe her nerves, her choice is the simple foods of her childhood. Cardiologist Jonathan Pang maintains a healthy lifestyle. He heals the hearts of others every day and calms his own by relaxing in wine country's serene surroundings. But first, author Wendy Van Hatten loves to travel, eat, and write. She doesn't stray far from home to find her special spot. Sandwiched between a liquor store and a laundromat in a Vacaville strip mall, it's called Backdoor Bistro and Wine Bar. I think I just constantly think about food. The menu ideas just kind of flow out of you. My name is Lindsay Collini and I am the head chef and owner of Backdoor Bistro in Vacaville. I was born and raised in Vacaville and felt it's really important to offer the people of Vacaville real food. Food that comes from the farms and food that we prepare from scratch every single day. People appreciate that and I think that's why they keep coming back. The location wasn't necessarily ideal, but I came inside and I saw the old walk-in refrigerator that had been here for 50 years and I just got excited about it and I said, this is for us. Both my husband and my father are winemakers, so that was also a huge help in me getting started because we were able to sell wine from day one. We have a real link to the community here, and this area is surrounded by farms. So a farmer will call us up and say, hey, you know, it's springtime, I have some peelies, what can you do with them? So we'll bring them on in, and we just are figuring out how to use these ingredients in different ways and the best way we possibly can. So it's exciting. I think when people come to Backdoor Bistro, they're going to get great quality food, great quality of service, and feel like it's their neighborhood restaurant, but they're also getting fine dining quality food. All right, Wendy, this is a unique spot for Vacaville, isn't it? Yes, it is. Vacaville has a lot of chain restaurants and nothing wrong with chain restaurants, but there are so many times we would like to go to just something a little more farm to table type movement and Chef Lindsay does that. She hits farmer's markets, I think probably five days a week. Yeah. And her menu changes with the farmer's market and what she finds in season. And I think that's one of the things we like. Although there are times I gravitate to the hamburger. <laughs> so I'm going to a bistro and wine bar for the hamburger. <laughs> when it comes and you look at it, your first thought is, I will never get that all in my mouth. And you kind of squish it down and it oozes out. And, but I think it's more than the hamburger. She makes her own pickles. And I could eat, oh. yes, I could eat those by the hands full. And she always has an interesting chip. The last time we were there were potato chips dusted with truffle oil. I mean, just give me a bag of those and a glass of wine and, and you're a happy I'm, girl. I'm right. fine. 
I didn't know what to expect driving all the way out to Vacaville, but it was <laughs> totally worth it. And I feel like when I'm reading a menu and I can't decide on what to order and I see dishes coming by, it's always a good sign. Right. So we made it to the happy hour. One of the bites that my husband really wanted to order was the prosciutto tartine oh. with feta cheese. Oh. And to be That's honest, <laughs> Jonathan's beautiful. moaning over it. Yes. My Excellent. God. Mm -hmm. I am not to offend the cheese aficionados out there, but I'm not a fan of feta cheese, so I do it for love. My husband wanted it, so we ordered that, and I was just blown away with the feta mousse. It was yes. like taking a bite out of a cloud straight from heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and did you know. feel like that too? I loved the things that she had on her menu, just like how Mary was describing. She has bolded in menu the things that are sourced from 10 miles away. I think what Chef Lindsay brings to the table is that she actually also trained at Soul Bar, which right. is a Michelin star restaurant in right. Sonoma. She really reflects the training that she had and reflects it great. Her father is kind of involved in the wine business, so right. the wine list is extensive. I've well, it's, and it's really well selected. Yes, yes, right? absolutely. I mean, there are some gems on that list for right. $40 or $50. Ooh, yeah. right. so. The bouillabaisse itself was, I've had bouillabaisse before, and it's more of a clear broth. This one with the coconut lime was cloudy, opaque, thick, and rich, and it had a zest and also had a jasmine rice, which brought about some kind of ambrosia-like taste in your mouth. That paired with the Y Rousseau that I got, which I will share is what I got. <laughs> it was a Columbard. Um, yes. it, was, it was an excellent pairing. Mm -hmm. I think overall my impression was this place was simple and honest. It doesn't right. try to be pretentious, mm -hmm. right. no, despite no. the fact that the chef is very well trained and very creative. Well, you're between a laundry mat, right? And, 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 yes. 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 and what else did you have, Mary? I had the steak. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really well seasoned. And the, the mushroom risotto was so creamy. And I finished every bit. I love the crunch of the mushroom. Right. I love the creaminess of the risotto, the, the sauce that went on top of it. There was nothing left on my plate. I loved it. So I had the seared octopus with kale salad. And I thought that was done amazing. And I like my octopus kind of rubbery, kind of gives it that authentic feel. I've never heard so, that. People yes, generally don't like rubbery. Yeah, they, they don't like it. I like it because it gives this little bounce and it kind of reminds me of, <laughs> of this, it's fresh, you know? Right. Now the one thing I, I didn't like as much was there were German potatoes in there, so that there was a kind of a bland taste there that kind of canceled out the flavor. So I kind of put that to the side after the first bite, but I think everything else was perfect for me. She does soups with the season as well, and she's just now into her mushroom soup. Wow. Oh, if you like mushrooms, oh, wow. this one. Oh, yeah, this one's this one's fantastic. Yes, get right. in the car, drive it yes, over. Yes, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> and it's not Fantasia. Yeah, and it's not just one type of mushroom. It's, I mean, you taste more than just a mushroom. It's, yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Now let's talk dessert. Oh yes. So I had the beignets. I love. I shouldn't say this, but I love deep frying things. <laughs> well, of course. And, so, and beignet, you can't get more yeah, deep fried yeah, you, you than a beignet. Yeah, yeah, you right. can't go wrong with that. So it came with three powdered sugar all over the place <laughs> as if there's a snowstorm. And it came with like a melted dark chocolate dip and just kind of gobbled it up. They and chocolate is good for your heart. Your it is. So, so the theobromine in there um, <laughs> is, is very good. Yes. I won't, I won't deny that. Right. <laughs> yes. Well, I had the lemon tart that was in an orange shortbread crust with impossibly thin candied lemon on top. It was Ugh. to die for. What about service, Mary? I thought the service was great. Everyone was really attentive, really friendly. I was really pleased with the service. And I what about you, Jonathan? You know, service was the only one thing that had somewhat of a reservation on. Things were not brought out in as much of a timely manner as I was hoping. Um, I didn't get my water filled as often as I thought. A little bit slow. Yes. yes. A little bit yes. less attentive. Right, right. All right. Well, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us, Wendy. Um, if you're looking for interesting food, flavorful food, tasty food in the Vacaville area and you don't want to drive to Napa, go to Backdoor Bistro. All right, and Jonathan? Simple, rustic, up and coming, upscale quality California cuisine in a casual setting. All right, and Mary? Totally worth the drive from San Francisco. I will go back again. I can't wait to go back again, actually. All right, if you would like to try Backdoor Bistro and Wine Bar, it's located on Merchant Street at Orchard Avenue in Vacaville. The telephone number is 707-685-9222. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Friday with dinner on Saturday and brunch on Sunday. Reservations are recommended and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30.
bumping elbows, literally, with others is common at Mary's Hole in the Wall Eatery, where tongue-burning, steaming morsels are delivered with great speed. In San Francisco, at Kingdom of Dumpling. The Kingdom of Dumplings is a small, tiny restaurant which have uh, 30 different kinds of dumplings. I'm Ching He Lee, the owner of the Kingdom of Dumplings in San Francisco. Dumpling is, uh, is a tradition of Chinese food in the north part of the China. When I was a child, we were very poor. We don't have the, too much money to buy meat. The only time we can eat dumpling is the uh, New Year's time or festival time. Every morning from the 8 o'clock to 4.30, we make 15,000 pieces of dumplings each day, every day. Dumplings are healthy because our dumplings focus on the steam or boiled. Also, our recipes, we put more vegetables than meat. In that way, people eat dumplings, also eat vegetables. My favorite dumpling is a lamb dumpling. <laughs> okay, how are you? Good for you. We treat our customers like our relatives. People come here, feel like they're home. We rather have one customer come here a thousand times than a thousand people come here only once. All right, Mary, you're literally doing this to get to your dumplings, mm -hmm. aren't you? Mm -hmm. Is that what happens? Yeah, it's totally worth it, too. And oftentimes, there's a long wait outside. Mm -hmm. So don't let that intimidate you, because they're very quick. They have a sister shop down the street, which is just a kitchen. And you can just order dumplings. You can take it home, frozen or fresh. So we eat there. I would have to say at least once a week. Right. And I, how did you find it? This is near in my neighborhood. Okay. Oh, man, I just told the Bay Area where oh, I live. Oh, man. That's all right. <laughs> Edit We're that gonna, out. That's okay. Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of dumpling shops in the city, a lot of dumpling restaurants and, and that sell not just dumplings, uh, but also xiaolongbao, which is the... I, I don't know, I don't speak. A Shanghai soup dumpling. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you Chinese? I am. Okay, good. Okay, good. 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 I was I say my Chinese is really bad. Come on, let me. <laughs> so, the xiaolongbao is really delicious. You just gotta get that because it's, it's xiaolongbao. I can't make that at home. Right. So I go there, it's totally worth it. And you have to really eat that within 10 minutes of it arriving at your table. They do come in six. Mm -hmm. Now, most dumpling places in San Francisco come in four. So you're kind of getting a, a good deal, I think. And and like she mentioned, you know, they like are- like a baker's hat. It is, it is very true. Mm -hmm. And you know, they are truly handmade. You know, you go in the back, you see like family members just cutting up the skin, folding it. So it's not a standard shape that all of them look the same. It's imperfect and that makes it authentic. Okay. You know, so when you okay. get it, you can't eat it right away either. No, so, no, no. So oftentimes you have to poke a little hole. This is what I do. I poke a little hole, let the steam come out a little bit. Within five minutes, I'll kind of in enjoy it. And what else do you get? So oh. I got a green onion pancake. Okay. The reason I get the green onion pancake is because that is a childhood staple of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up making that with my parents and I thought that it was very well done. I would have added a little more salt to it, but they give you this kind of sauce that you can dip it in that kind of supplements it. All right. All what right. did you get? Well, I didn't know what to expect in driving up to the place, uh, not being from San Francisco, and I, I knew it wasn't in Chinatown, so I'm thinking, what are we doing here? And I was pleasantly surprised. We ordered three or four different dishes because we didn't know, unlike the two of you, I am not Chinese. Um, <laughs> really? I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's hard to believe. But so we ordered three or four things yeah. and liked almost, there was only one that I thought, mm, wouldn't order that again. But the rest, uh, we had a bowl of soup with something in it, with some uh, different, I, they had spinach <laughs> in them. And I mean, they were all different dumplings, I'm assuming. However, I almost ordered the green onion pancake and now I wish I would have. Oh. But everything was so flavorful. And, and you look at it and you see it's this kind of white dumpling and, and you mentally think, is that going to have flavor? Because right. it's, it's white. You know, right. but the flavors were so good. The the pork and corn one that we had, you could taste the pork. The corn was so sweet. I mean, it was, it was fantastic. 
And while we're sitting there, they're bringing in trays of these dumplings. It, the, the whole experience was just so unique right. and, and, it's, and, and so it's much fun. And bustling in there. Yeah. Oh my I mean, gosh, yes. Yeah, it is elbow to elbow. It people is elbow, are, yes. And you right. felt like, okay, we're done eating. Right. There are people that need our table. We need, we need to go. Right. I mean, but the, the experience was great. And the food was much more flavorful than I originally thought it might than be. Than you expected. Definitely order the green onion pancakes okay. because that is a staple of my childhood as well. So I know a good fresh um, tong yu bing or green onion pancake. Okay. I'm whipping out my Chinese. Um, that was very good manner. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um, green onion pancakes, definitely. It's a great right. appetizer, a side dish. Oftentimes, green onions are uh, like a side to a, a Chinese cooking because it's an aromatic ingredient. But this time, it's, it's the star of its own show. Now, I also got the shrimp and chive dumplings, and that's something that I tend to get at other places. The shrimp and chive ratio it was a little more higher on the chive ratio than the shrimp, so if you are a big fan of chive and kind uh -huh. of that, that flavor, yeah. um, I think it's great. All right. Yeah. And the farmer's cucumber is fresh, it's crisp and cool, and it's not overly salted, but when I eat it there, it just feels so fresh and crisp, and it's a great side dish or an appetizer. I love it, and my family members love it as well, and it's just crunchy, and it's just great way to eat with dumplings that are really meaty and savory. And also the tofu bean noodle, cilantro bean noodle, is also really delicious because it's like a noodle, but it's not, it's made of tofu. So it's a different texture, but it also has a little bit of sesame oil and cilantro, and it's just really light and fresh. And I just love starting off my meal with that. I mean, you obviously had a good experience with oh, the yes. dumplings. Yes, Did right. you feel like you got value for Oh my, your money? yes. Oh, heaven just. The amount of food, the flavor, the service, um, total, total value. All right, this is your spot, Mary. Give us a quick summary. So if you're looking for homemade, fresh dumplings and, and onion pancakes, this is definitely the place to go. Kingdom of Dumpling is like a portal into a family home, a Chinese family home. And Wendy? I definitely would go back or recommend it for excellent Chinese food without the craziness of Chinatown. And Jonathan. A dumpling house that is authentic to every element, including the long wait lines, the small space, the loud noises, and the tastes that are true to what Chinese cuisine was meant to be. If you would like to try Kingdom of Dumpling, it's on Terravel at 27th Avenue in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-566-6143. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is under $15. When it comes to pairing wine and chocolate, there are many options. Some are traditional and others a touch exotic. An all-purpose match is amber-hued tawny port from Portugal. It sports fruity yet fresh flavors and a touch of sweetness. What if you're presented with white chocolate though, or a fruit-filled milk? Reach for a rich, luxurious Chardonnay. It works surprisingly well and makes for a delicious experience. I don't mind if I do. Mm. Elegant and sophisticated, with views across 92 acres of vineyards, Jonathan's Pick is wine country at its finest, with seasonal cuisine that excels. In Santa Rosa, at John Ash & Company. John Ash & Company restaurant has been around in Santa Rosa for 35 years, and the idea was using local sustainable products. And for us, it's just using source ingredients that can come out of our gardens or local gardens in the area. I like to compare John Ash to like Alice Waters of the wine country. I'm Tom Schmidt, executive chef at John Ash & Company restaurant in Santa Rosa, California. I was raised in the Bay Area, and in the end of the 80s I went to Europe. I stayed for 20 years in Germany. I learned all the different German, French, Italian things that I brought back here. I started here eight years ago. I have the same vision. I did the same thing in Europe as far as I could, but I really don't like to fancify everything I do. I like to sometimes just take the product like it is and just do something very minimal to it just to enhance the flavor of it. When the guests come here, they first be ready for a fantastic evening. And then just come into this beautiful restaurant with the casualness of the front room and the sun porch and then the fine dining, so with white tablecloths. Sit on the terrace, you've got a view of the vineyards. We open the windows up in summer. Our head bartender, she has a good changing cocktail list, great ideas. And the local wines are somebody who knows his wine, so you can really pair something great with the meal you want to have. If it's just coming in for a snack and a glass of wine or having an elegant dinner, it's all available. 
Jonathan, this is quite a wine country destination, it isn't is. it? It is. You know, farm to table is a, is a buzzword that we hear everywhere now. But you know, back in 1980, there was no farm to table. There was no sustainable local jargon. But John Ash, who is an award-winning chef who's won many James Beard's awards, started John Ash and Company. Now, John Ash no longer owns the restaurant or runs it. It's now owned by Ferrari Carano. But the executive chef, Thomas Schmidt, who is also a Bay Area native, now has done a great job of paying homage to what he has brought and continues to exemplify what the wine country uh, farm to table concept is. So the first time I ever went there, I ordered something very simple, a brick chicken. This brick chicken concept is a Tuscan concept based in northern Italy, where they will actually grill a chicken and put a brick on it. And that weight compresses the meat to allow heat to sear into the chicken, allowing the skin to be very crisp, but also to keep the meat juicy and tender. And it really has not failed me ever. Now, just like other farm to table places, it's very seasonal, so their appetizers kind of change around. Uh, I obviously ordered some oysters from Hog Island, which is you know, down in Marin County, just right. about not too far away. 30 miles away. Makes it perfect to put some lemon on, just shoot them. You don't even have to use the spoon. I started off my meal with a tuna tartare stack, mm -hmm. which was really fresh, and I really liked how the wonton skins were pretty crispy and it maintained its crisp, even though it was stacked in three. And I did give away one of the stacks to my husband for love and maintaining <laughs> a happy family. I did share with him my appetizer. <laughs> uh, things we do for love, right? I really liked it. It had a bit of a bite to it. I think it was the Japanese pepper that was in it that really kind of woke me up from the long ride over. <laughs> it was a bit far out there for me. I wasn't... Well, San Francisco to Sonoma. Yeah, so I was a bit tired and it, I was really disappointed to see that it was dark. Well, we ordered the cheese board with the different sauces. You can say a cheese board with jam pairing or whatever, but the way they did the cheese, the jam complemented the cheese, the cheese complemented the jam. And then when we're sitting there and we had a glass of bubbly, they bring us the little crispy wontons with the salmon tartare just as an amuse-bouche. That was to die for. And then have a piece of cheese with it and a glass of bubbly, and I mean... Who I needs uh, anything else? That's mm -hmm. exactly that's right. right. I was happy mm -hmm. even before we ordered dinner. The dinner I had was a creamy pasta, creamy, but not heavy creamy, right. salty prosciutto in it, and then sweet baked squash. And oh my gosh, if you got a bite of the creamy pasta with the prosciutto and the squash, it was just like sweet, salty, smooth, wonderful, all just happening. Actually, I had more of the butternut squash pasta dish that my husband ordered that he shared with me. Very because lovingly. he loves you too. He, he's, oh, he loves me so much because I think I ate more of his dish than mine. It was <laughs> it was delicious. It was really not good. You can do that. You can share. Yeah, yeah totally, classy. right? It's very romantic. It was that's very right. lady. Sharing is caring. Definitely. Yes. 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 Oh my God, the mousse bouge did its job because it amused my bouche. Yes. <laughs> can I say that on local public you television, can say PBS? That. Of course you can. <laughs> but it was really delicious. It was like a shrimp served on a skewer with a little sriracha sauce, and it was just a great way to start off the meal. It was like, wow, there's gonna be a party up in here. <laughs> and I was just really excited to start off with such a great bite. Right. Great job, Amuse Bouche. And by the way, Bubbles goes great with that. And they do have an extensive wine list, again, yes. close to 300 selections. Right. I really enjoyed the pan-seared scallops. It goes well with sweet potato, kind of a mashed consistency. Which, by the way, scallops and sweet potatoes are two of the most perfect pairings for a good right. Chardonnay. So, uh -huh. excellent right. choice on your yeah. part. Yeah. Yes. And what about the cod? Very, very flavorful. It was just the hint of lemon that brought out the nice, flaky taste of the cod and the texture. And we had a local Pinot, and it went well with both the cod and the pasta dish. Of course. And Pinot Noir swings both ways. Exactly. Honey. Right. So, and this was just the nice, light, <laughs> not overly fruity, not overly earthy, really nice. So, Absolutely. What yes. about dessert? Uh, I had the house-made gelato, and it was three little scoops of gelato with some biscotti. I mean, it was a perfect ending. I ended up with the apple, cranberry, orange, crisp. The flavors are very synergistic, and they form this kind of sweet, tangy complement to the vanilla gelato that they actually serve next to it. I'll get that next so, time. <laughs> it was, it, yes. like, like you, it was yes. a perfect ending to a perfect meal. Yes. Now, did you feel that you got value? This is an expensive place. It sure is. 
It was a little bit more than I would like to pay for a meal at a setting like that. It's a really nice, beautiful, romantic, upscale restaurant. It didn't. It didn't wow it you. It didn't knock my socks off. Right. I'm so sorry, Dr. Pang. Apologies. <laughs> uh, you don't have to apologize. Right, but that's okay. Don't I hate worry. being critical. You're okay. But that's my job. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> for today. Yes. All right, Jonathan. This is your spot. Give us a quick summary. I think for fine dining and wine country in the restaurant that really originated the farm to table concept, John Ash is a great place for both tourist and city resident alike. All right, and Mary. It's a little bit out of the way, but if I were in the neighborhood, I might go back a little bit earlier so I can catch the sunset and the happy hour. <laughs> it was an adventure going out to Santa Rosa. All right, and Wendy. Love the food, love the wine, love the service. If we're in the area, we'll be back. All right, if you would like to try John Ash and Company, it's on Barnes Road at River in Santa Rosa. The telephone number is 707-527-7687. It's open every night for dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. I have to thank my great guests on this week's show, Wendy Van Hatten, who keeps it local with a California casual spot at Backdoor Bistro and Wine Bar in Vacaville, and Mary Gao, who rubs shoulders to ensure she gets her steaming plates at Kingdom of Dumpling in San Francisco, and Jonathan Pang relaxes in wine country with gourmet cuisine and wines to match at John Ash and Company in Santa Rosa. Now, we really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about, so find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash check, please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes on the terrific wines we're drinking today. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check, Please! Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG has over 250 natural stone choices and over 10,000 stone slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Natural mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, open source engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers at walmartlabs.com. Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna, great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Online at safecatch.com.